Mission Impossible films always have really great casts. So what is it like being on set with all of these people? Any moment spent with Simon, really, just sitting down. I think Simon and I view the world through a series of punchlines. <laughs> so it's fun sitting with Simon. Everyone's like a family, really, and a very welcoming family. Obviously, I was a new guy coming in, and it, I didn't feel like the new guy at all. Everyone just, it was just open arms. And working with Macquarie, a true pleasure. The man's, the man's a genius. He's really good at what he does, and a gentleman. Very nice working with gentlemen. And Tom, you've heard all the stuff, you know, charming, professional, always on time, kind. But Tom, most of all, when you're sitting in a helicopter in the New Zealand Southern Alps, and there's a guy in another helicopter who's an actor, and he's stunt flying a helicopter, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. I won't describe them because I don't want to ruin it for anyone, but he's stunt flying a helicopter and acting for a camera. So his eyes aren't on his instruments. His eyes aren't necessarily on the ground which is hurtling towards him or the mountainside. He's acting towards cameras trying to sell for the audience. That is mad and really, really impressive. And so I, I, when I watched that, I took my hat off to him and said, okay, yeah, you were uh, good at my book. What were you like with bloopers? You mentioned like punchlines with Simon. When we all got together in the big group scenes, if it was the end of a long day, it took just one moment of someone saying something funny and then we all went and it was Tom was normally very good at not going but if he wants to go he gets this like naughty boy glint in his eye and you're, you're screwed you, there's there's no surviving that like he will mess with you on your takes as much as possible to get you to laugh and it it's it is good fun and then yeah there's some days you're just rolling around and laughing you can't help it I think one of my the lovely feelings were being in the stunt training rooms with everyone. But we have Simon Pegg and Sean Harris was a part of that as well. A lot of ping pong. Sean Harris is bloody good. I'm quite good as well. I'm actually, I'm actually better than I thought. Simon Pegg is crap. <laughs> it's great making these kind of movies because they're global and um, they always involve training to do new things and uh, going different places and getting to work with people that you admire. I've, I've loved Angela for the longest time and for her to suddenly get cast in this was a real thrill and to meet her and, you know, discover her to be the queen of everything was just absolutely brilliant. You've mentioned as well how Tom, the previous Mission Impossible film, was putting a prank and heating up your seat to make you sweat. Did anything like that happen on Fallout? We didn't really have time for pranking on this film just because everything, we, we shot for 144 days and it was so kind of um, full on all the time. And we had a lot of fun and there was a lot of laughter on set, but we, there, were no, there was no time to sort of organize any kind of complex pranks because we were just at it the whole time, you know what I mean? It was a really, really busy, industrious set. On Rogue Nation, we had those few days when Tom and I were in the car together and while the camera was setting up, we'd just be sat in there messing around and that, that's how that one evolved. Um, but on this one, it was just, uh, you know, all hands on deck. I always used to make funny faces. Uh, yeah, having said there's no pranks. When Henry would, uh, Walker, Henry's character, does a lot of looking, like he, he looks at us all the whole time because he's trying to size us all up. And whenever he'd look over at me, I'd always be giving him a look. And so if I, neither of us were on camera, I would do my very best to make him laugh. And we had some very hairy moments sometimes in the middle of scenes that we weren't actually in when we'd both be um, giggling like little boys. It's not a professional thing, I'm not proud of it but it happened. There was one time when we were sort of all in a tent up at, up this valley in New Zealand and we were all there together and it was freezing cold and it was like 5 a.m. and the sun was coming up and I was asking Simon about how it's been to be in three of them and, and Rebecca and it just felt really cool to be joining them. Tom and I laughed a lot on the riverbank in Paris because people kept recognising him and so mid-scene people, lots of people would be shouting Tom Cruise uh, while he was pretending to be somebody else, pretending to be someone else. So uh, yeah, we laughed loads that day.